Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this special video showcase we're going to have a look at the Autobot Afterburner. What we're going to do with this video, we're going to have a look at him in all of his modes, I'm going to have a look at the accessories that come with him, I'm going to point out things that you need to look out for and be aware of if you have to purchase him one for yourself and as I'm lucky enough to have a couple of different types of packaging we'll get to have a look at the artwork on the back of both of them. Before we get started I want to take the opportunity to thank everybody who's been subscribing and leaving comments and also to remind people who haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button for me right now and feel free to leave a comment or a message of any particular figure you want me to showcase and I'll gladly do it for you. Let's get started then. So, he came out in 1987, it was part of Series 4 of the Wave of Transformers and he was one of five Technobots that could combine to form Computron, who is the large robot you can see right there in front of you on the screen. And he traditionally formed his right arm, which is there, and you can either have the wheel up as I've got it or folded down onto the other one. I just prefer it up because it looks and it goes well with Straff's weapons on the other side. But along with all of the other figures um, that are part of Scramble City mode, Scramble City, for those of you who don't know, it says there on the large gift set. Scramble City was the name given to the Japanese cartoon that was being aired and it refers to the fact that you could basically scramble the limbs of the individual robots. So although as I mentioned he's traditionally the right arm he could actually be any of the limbs on Computron and of course any of the limbs and the rest of the combiner that fall underneath the Scramble City. So your Bruticus, Superior and that lot obviously you couldn't form any part of Predaking things like that. But let's have a look at the robot. So here we go, as I say, very basic, just a little bit of movement in the arms at the shoulders, the legs are fused together. He does have a weapon, I'll show you that now, it's this small gun. And the important thing for this is you've got that little knob there, the little tab, and that little tab means that it can fit into either one of these holes on the inside of his hands. If you haven't got one of them tabs, it isn't going to hold, unfortunately. And I know it sounds silly, but this is important as well, his head there, because that's how you're going to connect him into computer on shoulder there so very basic robot very minimal articulation but again that wasn't what they were going for the main gimmick was the fact that he could combine to form the massive robot which you can see the weapon should not look like this this is a colored in one that was in the box of the gig one i'll show you in a second while we'll have a look at him in his uh, futuristic motorcycle mode you can see again that he's got two weapons and these can be put either side to be fair so the important thing is the tab on there the other thing as well is that because these are 5mm tabs, these can fit inside the hands of Computron as well, so be used as a weapon for that. The things to be aware of for this, if you want to display them in uh, motorcycle mode, is there's two stickers either side of the front wheel. They're easily lost, but unfortunately with this, this is a victim of it, you'll see as well. Yeah, you can just about make out there's some corrosion. It's not focusing on it. If I fold this out a little bit, there's quite a bit of corrosion on all these joints here because all these wheels move backwards and forwards so be aware of that you obviously don't want that too bad this it makes the transformation really stiff so that's something to be aware of uh, but again otherwise very basic mode it does look pretty good though it does serve its purpose and it's quite a cool little toy so that's what you need to be aware of if you're after one of them i'm just going to move them out of the way quickly and we'll have a quick look again at computeron there he is fantastic robot I do really like him, he's one of my favourite combiners to be fair. And before we move on to the boxes, I've got two different styles, although they look very similar. So this is the Italian gig box, and it's gig, so it's Italian, it's got gig there. It changes the name to Transformer instead of Transformer, and they also change the name. They still call it a Technobot, but his Rider Bot. So that's his changed name. We'll spin it round to the back, and then you've got the... This is normally used in the 86 line of figures, the battle scene there. So you've got Metroplex in his base mode, and you can just about make out Trypticon coming in the top there. But there we go, so that's the little gig box. Very similar, and again, this is because they were licensed by Takara. It says Takara there, so very similar to the um, Takara boxes, just obviously the language is different. There's the larger gift set, and I didn't mention, but I should have with the little box, they got this big C on the front of it. The C stood for Cybertron, which was Japanese for Autobots, and they have got the same on the Italian ones as well. So there he is in there, he is C90, and that confirms and collaborates with C90 on the little box there. Lovely box out there, slightly thicker than the others, but that's due to the thickness of Scattershot. But if we spin it round to the back, and there again is that fantastic 
battle scene which was used again on a lot of a lot of the figures released around about this sort of time and of course because it's the box set you've got computerons tech spec at the back as well so there we go one of the last um, scramble city combiners released him and abominus obviously uh, with the later ones um, i think piranicon as well actually might have been just after him or king poseidon if his, as he was known in japan but yeah great figure um great set to be honest um they were really really good very popular in the cartoon as well and they are very popular now they've uh, been reissued and re-released rather under the generations line and the combiner wars not so long ago so you know he's still a very popular character um i hope you like looking at him i hope it brought back some nice memories and again if you any other figures you want me to showcase please let me know thanks very much